that showing up. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and, and continue the tutorial. Um, the next thing that's kind of a gotcha is this caret operator. So if I type x caret 2 like this, uh, you might expect that we're going to get x squared, but we don't get x squared. This is because SymPy is using Python's operators, and the caret in Python means exclusive or. So if you want to do a square, you probably saw me do it already. It's the, these two stars give you a square. And so like for example, x times x will give you x squared. And the final note is this division. So if you do x divided by 2, you're fine. But if you do 1 divided by 2, we get 0. This is because 1 and 2 are Python integers. We never, we're not using SymPy at all here. This is just completely Python. So if we want to use SymPy to create a rational number, we need to use rational. And this, only, this is only ever an issue if you use integer divided by integer. If you include a SymPy expression in there, so if I do like 3 times x divided by 4, it'll work because with this variable in between, it'll um, this 3 times x will create the SymPy version of 3. And then when that is divided by 4, it'll create a rational. It's only when you have like x squared plus x plus 1 half. If you have a uh, integer divided by integer isolated in an expression, you need to uh, uh, change it so that it's using a SymPy. And an easy way to is to use this s function. So if you wrap one of the integers in this s function, that'll create the SymPy version of 1. And that will, the SymPy version of 1 divided by 2 will give you a rational number. OK, are there any questions on the stuff we've done so far? Make sure I didn't miss anything. And so now you should be able to do all these exercises in this first notebook if you have the notebook working. Question? Oh, okay. And uh, how, how far are people on the exercises so I can gauge time? Has anybody finished all the exercises in the Scotch's notebook? Okay. Well, I will give you a couple minutes Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, shift enter. Yeah, okay. If you've never used the IPython notebook, you execute cells by pressing shift enter. Is there, okay, who does not have the notebook working yet? Okay, so everybody else has the note is has the notebook working and you're working through the exercises?
Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Uh, well, how, just tell me, how many people have finished the exercises? Okay, two people. Maybe I should wait a little longer. If there are any questions, please let me know.